So today is floral day for the Lather Games 2018. I'm going to be using a uh, special razor. This is uh, the same model as my grandpa's razor. And I don't have his exact one, but from my memory I recall this one, so I really enjoy it. The blade I'll be putting in it is a Gillette Platinum. And it's brand new, has not been used yet. I don't see any of my marks on it. There we go. And we're gonna go with a setting of three just because I feel like being all comfy today and not pushing too hard. The uh, brush is a uh, Omega. This is a travel brush, kind of a, a small uh, brush and it goes inside this plastic tube and uh, when not in use and I think it's pretty cool. I've used it a couple times, not too many. I've soaked it a lot just to try to see if it'll help it but um, I don't think it helped it too much. I might try that whole lather thing where you uh, put a lather on it and then just let it sit for a day or something. But um, I've also got a soap and floral so we're going with Rose from Coats Cream. Um, this is an old one that's been discontinued. Um, and I don't like Rose. But since this is floral day, I wanted to go ahead and use it up. I squeeze a little bit of it into my Dollar Tree soup bowl. And I've got my syringe here to add water to the lather as I go. All right, so I'm going to rinse my face as a kind of pre-wash. I like to keep things simple with the pre-wash routine. Um, you can probably get a better shave if you do use soap for pre-wash or some of those other pre-wash type items. Um, but that's not me. Someday maybe. I'm going to take out this brush, swing it around so that I get pretty much all the water out of it. Let me reposition you a little bit. There we go. I tried this Coats Cream uh, before. You know, it's still available um, on a person's website. They found a bunch of discontinued crates of it and they're selling it. I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot because they've got some, got a sandalwood scent. It should have it performed pretty well. See, even with the uh, just a damp brush, not wet by any means, we've got a nice little paste. So that's how creams sometimes work. They don't require a ton of, of water. I'm just going to add a little bit. brush is not great because it's so young so we'll see maybe coming yeah, but that's a good thing about a bowl you can keep coming back and getting more lather brushes I got for almost nothing on a Black Friday deal. Really nice thick uh, lather right now course a little too dry but um, it's not bubbly or airy or anything like that so that's cool uh, this is a bore brush by the way 
I should go ahead and mention that. Coming together pretty nice. Get more volume. This one kind of scoots lather out of the way as it mixes it instead of kind of allowing the lather to get up inside it and stuff. Take a look at the feel of this lather. Yeah, there's some good cushion there and some slickness, pretty slick. I'll add a little bit more water. So we've got two teaspoons in it already. Now we have two and a half, and it's looking pretty good. That might be all we need to do. Of course, it smells like rose. There's not, not too much else. It's not too complex. I, I like smelling roses, but I just don't like to smell like roses. Add a little bit more water. You see that did. All right. The uh, peaks and stuff were really still pretty firm. So I went ahead and added a little more water. And I bet that's going to be good. See? Yep. That's more where we need to be uh, for my own preferences. If you like it to be a lot more stiff, sometimes that will give you more cushion, but you do have to be concerned about it not sticking to your face quite as well. And, and then it doesn't protect your face as well, so be careful with that. Travel brush, Omega, bore, not a big knot, so I may have to go back to the bowl here and get some more lather for each side. Well, um, it's not too prickly, so that's cool. I mean, it's not prickly at all. It's uh, just scrubby, fairly soft, uh, soft enough um, tips. So that's cool. Not, um, it shouldn't bother me when I have to come back and uh, put on the layer number two. You know, pass number two. Looks like I hit this lather just right. I stopped, stopped hydrating it just right. Sometimes it looks a little thin when you're scrubbing it on, but 
it always thickens up a little bit when you switch to the painting motions and spread it around. Rose. All right. Platinum is a blade that I have used many times and it's a very good one and it's performing. It's very smooth right now in this razor. I'm glad that the rose scent is not very strong. When in use, I'd say it's like a three out of 10, something like that. Giving me good uh, residual slickness here so that I can kind of go back over areas without having to re-lather as long as I do it quickly enough. Some shavers don't rinse between passes. I used to kind of do a full rinse, but then I thought, I don't need to do that. So I quit. This has uh, got a good amount of backbone to it. It's not splaying very easily. Get some more cream lather here in the mix. This one's not really holding. Um, it's, it's keeping its form. You see how upright it's being? And so it's not allowing very much lather to be in the brush. And so when you're swirling and, and that kind of stuff, it... Uh, It's not very smooth because the lather's on the outside of the brush being pushed away. But bore brushes do require a break in period. I had one that only took five shaves before, before he would hold enough lather to kind of be normal. And uh, another one that was 14 shaves, another one that was uh, 18 shaves. Uh, this is really my first Omega I'm breaking in, and this one's taking a little while. Cross grain. Very comfortable and smooth. This is a really good razor. I do like the look of the uh, Slims or the Fat Boys that are just kind of chrome. But these Black Beauties are also nice. And it's, this is delivering a great shave. Sometimes I have to worry about shaving the humps here, the, uh, the neck muscles or tendons right there. But this at a setting of three with the uh, nice platinum blade went over that uh, without a problem, uh, without biting or being too aggressive at all.
Okay, third pass. And since this lather is hydrated enough, it doesn't need any extra help from uh, residual water on my face. I did go ahead and kind of dab the excess water off my face. This brush is a little less important to me. I might try one of those shortcut techniques on, on it. With my the brush I, brushes I care about, I'm just using them. And that's been a good policy so far for me. I like that, but um, maybe with this one it doesn't matter quite as much. I'll try something, one of the shortcuts like soaking or leaving a lather in it overnight. Uh, maybe I'd say this is a 4 out of 10 in terms of strength, uh, scent strength. Third pass. Nice and smooth, of course. My neck really prefers... Now this thing is so smooth. Zero eight ten. At this setting. That uh, I probably could go baby butt smooth with it. Almost uh, very few razors I could do that with. And when I said baby butt smooth, what I meant was against the grain. Nice uh, glide. Uh, the residual slickness is kind of medium. Um, it does allow you a little bit of uh, grace to go back and shave over a certain area, but if, um, if you've moved from one cheek to the other and you're done with this cheek, there's some spots over here you would not want to hit again um, without re-lathering. All right, that's the third pass. I'm going to rinse this off and check out the results. All right, since I had a little bit of length on some of my neck hairs, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, neck touch-up pass, which is typical for most razors and blade combinations for me. Um, I'll go ahead and say that a lot of people like the Gillette Platinum blade, but blades are, blades are really subjective. And so it may not be good for you at all. But so many people like it, I can definitely recommend that you try it at least once. No irritation or anything like that, so it's been a very comfy shave. And uh, final rinse. So final results after the uh, touch-up. Um, I do see some tips, uh, and so that's sometimes what happens with a mild shave. You really kind of have to work it a lot um, with some blades and some razors. Uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. Uh, but it's a very good shave. Um, almost nobody was, it would be able to tell that there were some, uh, that it wasn't flush, uh, unless it was right up on top of you. Um, yeah, face is dry enough to go ahead and do my balm. Sterling balms are very good. Um, and today, to counter the rose that's on my skin. I'm going to put on some nice masculine smelling executive man. Of course, you don't really have to worry too much about the rose. Um, most of the time, a shaving cream or soap is not going to spend a lot of time hanging around you. Um, maybe 20 minutes. 
I have had a couple, and it's like the least, my least favorite scents are the ones that hang around for hours and hours, and then they're just uncommon, you know. Uh, it's uncommon how much they do hang around. Uh, so that's unfortunate. It'd be nice if my favorites were the ones that did that. There we go. Um, shave feels great. I feel no irritation at all. When I did splash on that last, uh, after the last pass, I felt the water exposed just a couple little, little places, but I don't feel them otherwise. Uh, so great shave, great feel. Um, average results in terms of the uh, trouble spot area down here. Um, and that executive man smells good. And here's how much lather I had left over. So plenty for a pass or two. Um, so it turns out that was uh, plenty of lather. The uh, hope this brush will uh, get a little better over time. Who knows? Hey, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do that shortcut thing I was talking about where I fill this guy with lather like that and just leave him to uh, kind of soak a little bit. See if that helps him to spread out, open up. All right. Well, there we go. I want to clean up. If I think of anything else, I'll be back. So how much water do we use on that? You saw the little loop that I had for the soap. Um, I'm going to guess it was maybe a inch and a quarter long, um, just in the one direction. So, you know, two and a half inches long, um, three teaspoons of water is what it took to make that lather. I wouldn't go any more with any more water than that. Um, but uh, it did a great job protecting me. Um, really slick, and uh, it's uh, it's too bad that went out of business. Zero eight thirty. But uh, that's the way it is, I guess. Competitive markets and whatnot. So, um, if I if that's the only shaving cream that I had available to me, um, I would definitely prefer like the sandalwood scent, probably, or, or just about any other scent. And the rose but uh, but that's good that's a good performer um, this brush I do hope it uh, opens up a little bit so we'll see if we can get that to happen um, and uh, interesting thing with this brush like every time I would shave I even if I, I wouldn't use that brush but I would put it in a cup of water and I did that for man maybe 30 shaves and so just that water, lukewarm water soaking didn't really change it all that much. Um, so, uh, so that's why I'm trying kind of the lather method to see if that helps. It may just be a stubborn one to break in, you know. Then once you do, once you get it to that right place where you like it in terms of backbone and stuff, then the nice thing is it'll probably stay that way for a good while. All right, we've got everything cleaned up. Hope this was of some kind of help to you um, that you found something in here that uh, was of interest um, whether it was the platinum blade um, I'd highly recommend the uh, the black beauties uh, the Gillette super adjustable this one is an uh, R code um, I think it's a two right there so that's the second quarter of I think 1971 so that's how old this guy is and he's just this is one in superb condition I really uh, enjoy it you've got the dial there to make your uh, settings just a uh, great great condition here a lot of times the uh, uh, black material here is uh, chipping off a little bit because it's just been used I mean these things are made to be used and they will last multiple lifetimes if you take care of them so there we go um, I think that's it for now great shave very comfortable smooth um, I like that sterling balm as well so hey take care and uh, happy lather games